Welcome to the GE Intelligent Platform's Maintenance Minute Solution video series. In this Maintenance Minute episode, we'll answer the question, when online with the controller, why is logic not equal? Logic equality between the programming software and the controller application is vital for observing controller logic execution. Logic equality enables the ability to monitor the real-time operation of the control system, and to make run mode changes to adjust the application program. Sometimes, when online with the controller, the machine edition project logic is not equal to the logic in the controller. It may be a challenge to determine why. In this scenario, maintenance engineer Jill needs to observe control system operation. She goes online with the proxy machine edition programming software to the controller, but the software indicates that the logic in the project does not equal the logic in the controller. What would you do to determine the differences? How would you gain logic equality in order to view the application program execution? The objective of this maintenance minute is to view the controller program logic execution. The obstacle is that the controller logic in the project is not equal to the logic in the controller. The strategy to solve this issue is to first, validate the project in case of an inadvertent edit that has been undone. Second, Verify the logic to determine which logic blocks are different. And third, compare any not equal blocks to determine which rungs are different. After determining what is different between the project logic and the controller logic, approaches to gain logic equality are validate the project, or upload the logic from the controller, or download the logic to the controller, or modify the logic in the project to match the logic in the controller. Here's an example of a logic not equal scenario. After we go online to the controller, we notice that the status bar states logic NE or logic not equal. Let's validate the project to see if the project needs to be built. Click the Validate Active Target Toolbar button or press the F7 key. Notice that the project validates with no errors, but logic is still not equal. Let's check to see which logic blocks are not equal. Select the Online Commands, Verify Quality menu item. Select the Logic item on the Verify dialog. Notice that the Verify report is listed in the Compare tab of the Feedback Zone. Notice that blocks Motor Fault and Bearing have logic that is not equal. Let's examine the details of this inequality. Right-click on the Motor Fault block in the report and select the Show Details menu. Notice that the compare results show which rungs are similar, but different. And even color codes the parts of the rung that are not the same. Check the bearing block to see its differences. After examining the differences, you may decide how you want to gain logic equality. In this case, we want the logic in the project to match the logic in the controller. So we're going to perform an Upload from Controller operation, selecting the logic item. Notice how after the logic is uploaded, the logic equality state is equal. And the logic starts to animate. Here are some considerations when dealing with controller logic equality. Logic equality is necessary to see the logic application execution and to view the online variable values. Verify functions may be used to determine which logic components are not equal to aid in remedying the situation. If you want to learn more, click the video description to understand how to get the latest version of Profs Machine Edition, how to enroll in a controller maintenance or controller programming course, how to log a case with support, or how to get help with your GE solution. For more information, visit our public website at www.geautomation.com. Stay tuned for additional episodes in the Maintenance Minute series.